Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you guys are always asking me how I clean my cups and my tools and my mat and my tools and my cups and my tools and my mats. So I thought I would actually show you guys. I've also got something that I want to test out that I've never done before. I saw another artist do this to like clean their mats. So we're going to be doing some cleaning today. Some resin tool cleaning. Art, art tool cleaning. I'm already sweating and everything so that's a good start. We have two angles. We got two cameras going right now. I thought I would use this other camera to show you guys like close up stuff. This one's gonna be showing you like the hands doing the things. Maybe this one will be pointing it at my face. I don't know, I wanted to mix it up. I, I got an arm tripod that I wanna test out, okay? I'm excited about it. That's what you guys are on right now. So before we get started on cleaning, I am wearing my apron because usually when I'm like cleaning my cups, I like hold them against me to like really, you know, get in there and clean them. So I am wearing my apron. I would also recommend that you wear one. And then I'm also gonna be using some gloves. These are the gloves that I use. They're actually gloves from like a hair, like a store for salons and, and people that do hair. So we're gonna be putting some gloves on because I just don't really wanna get resin on my hands and I would highly recommend that you also wear gloves. In fact, I would say if you're gonna work with resin, you have to wear gloves. That's like an artsy rule around here wear gloves and a respirator and all those other things but for now we're talking about gloves all right so now that we're gloved and we're aproned we're gonna get started on cleaning up some of my cups I'm gonna show you guys how I clean out these cups because they are reusable I get them at the dollar store and like l literally a dollar and I reuse them every single time I work with resin I've also got these silicone cups these are pretty easy to clean but I'm gonna show you how I clean them reuse them I don't use plastic cups anymore I just don't. All right, so I'm going to switch up the angle and show you guys what we're working with. All right, so I've switched you guys over to the arm tripod, and this is what we're working with. I've got a couple of cups that I need to clean. This one has resin in it, and then also one of my silicone mixing sticks. This one has a bunch of silicone mixing sticks that I need to clean. There's also resin on the bottom, and then I've got this little silicone cup that has resin on the bottom. But underneath all of these things is my silicone mat, and you'll notice that there is a lot of pigments there's a lot of glitters there's a lot of little bits of resin on here but what I usually can't get off of these mats is the glitters and the pigments like it just gets everywhere and it sticks right to it like it doesn't it does not want to come off so I want to peel all of the little resin bits off of this but I also wanted to try something new that I was telling you guys at the beginning of this video I want to try <laughs> This thing that I saw Philip Danner do, or either it was him or his wife on Instagram, uh, where they had a silicone mat with like a bunch of pigments just like mine all over it and they painted glue onto it, let the glue dry, and then peeled the glue up and the, the, the glitters and pigments came off and it was a totally clean mat. I have not had a clean mat since I bought this thing. That's probably the last thing we're going to try because it's going to take up my whole mat. But first, we're going to clean the cups. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. All right, so we'll start with this cup that has the most resin in it. And it's also got one of my silicone mixing sticks, like, in the resin. Since this popsicle stick is made of silicone, you can literally just, like, peel it right out. So here is my cup. It's got resin on the bottom. It's got resin on the sides. It's got resin even, like, on the bottom part. You can literally, these cups... The reason I use them is because resin comes right off of them. Alright, so the way that I clean these cups is I take my little X-Acto knife. I literally look at this thing. It has been through so much. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my X-Acto knife. And you'll see that there's resin all along the sides of this cup. So what I do is I find a little spot where the resin kind of like dimpled and the cup is like peeking through so so like right here you'll see a little spot a little pocket where the resin like isn't covering the cup so I'll get my knife right under there and start pulling the resin up like this and you'll see that it's kind of coming off of the side of the cup but it is staying in like a sheet like this so I'm gonna like create this little pocket pull the resin up trying to keep it all in one sheet because it is easier if you keep it that way. So I'll start to peel the resin off like this. And then you'll see this is all resin here and it has peeled off of the cup. So the inside of the cup right here is all clean. And so I'm literally just gonna, like there is a pool of resin on the very bottom. So I'm gonna use this that I've just peeled off of the cup and pull on the resin that's on the bottom. 
and you'll see that it is peeling up and coming off of the bottom. But you want to make sure to see it, how I tore it just here. You want to make sure that you don't tear it. So if it is really, really difficult to peel off of the bottom, like sometimes if you have more resin than this, it can be difficult to peel this out using the side of, you know, the cup that you just peeled off. So in that situation, I would take my cup, flip it over and kind of hit it on the table or even on the floor is probably better in case you know you have stuff going on on your table and that'll loosen the bottom usually sometimes I have to do it a few times if the resin is really stuck on there but most of the time it will come off and then you can use this again and start to peel this but since I don't have to do that I'm just gonna peel this right out so this is basically like the inside of my cup and all the resin that was dripped on the sides has come off and it's all off. A lot of times, so what I'll do actually, I have so many of these in my like reusable bag, but I'll like peel the excess side resin off. And then I just have this little bit, like I don't know what I would do with it, but I, I don't know. For some reason I've, I've kept so many of these, so maybe someday I'll like, I think I just thought of something for using reusing these so I'm not gonna tell you I'll probably turn it into a video at some point but yeah I have a bunch of like bottoms of cups <laughs> that I've saved and I'm actually really excited about this idea that I just came up with so I'm probably gonna reuse these at some point but I do save them so now we have the bottom of the cup totally clean you can see that it's shiny it's basically brand new just kidding I'll peel this up it's usually pretty easy with these cups so then I just peel it right off and then a lot of times there's a lot like collected around the very like I don't know tip of the cup here so I'm going to like kind of carefully peel this up because I want to get as much off as I can so now this part is totally clean the very bottom totally clean the only thing that isn't clean is the sides here have a bunch of like little droplets of resin that have just stayed there a lot of times I can't quite get like all of it off and it doesn't really bother me so I honestly I usually just end up leaving this but I will try to use some tape so I'm gonna be using this a lot especially with the silicone tools to clean them so I do use a big roll of duct tape and I peel a bit off and then so I kind of roll it on itself to make like this little tube of tape. Then I'll put it between my fingers just like this. And then I'll use this to stamp the tape onto the cup and it peels the resin off if it can come off. I don't know why, but a lot of times little drops stay on these cups, but this actually is working. So you'll see that there is some resin on the tape. So now this cup is pretty clean. Like the bottom is totally good. The sides are pretty good. And for me, this is basically clean. Like this is ready to go for sure. There are some little like drops of resin still on the sides, but there aren't that many. And honestly, it doesn't bother me. They might come off while you're mixing like a new cup of resin, but I literally just pull them out and it's not a big deal at all. So this is how I clean these plastic cups. So now we're gonna clean this little silicone cup. These are, like I just said, they're silicone, so you can literally just peel resin right off of these. And it's super easy. So what I do to clean these is I'll push, so you'll see there's uh, like a bit of resin in here. So I'll push from the bottom, and since they're silicone, you can just like push it, and then the bottom literally comes right out, along with sometimes the sides come out as well, like this one did. But yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to save this too for this future project that I keep talking about. This is perfect. I have a bunch of these as well that I save because I don't know why. <laughs> now you'll see that there is still a bunch of resin along the sides. Well, not a bunch for this one, but a lot of times there's still resin along the sides of these. So I will squish it like this, like press it all the way against each other, both sides, and start rolling it. And this loosens the resin on the sides so that when I go in with tape, it will come right off. I got my piece of tape and I'm gonna start stamping it on the inside of the cup. And now the cup is 
like 100% clean. It can mix up some resin. There's nothing left in there and all the resin is stuck to the tape. And now this is clean. So this is how I clean my little silicone cups. So now we've got a bunch of silicone mixing sticks that I need to clean. So there's a bunch of resin on these. I'm gonna show you how I clean them. All right, so for this, I am gonna be using some tape, just like everything else, my duct tape. And like everything else, I roll it on itself, stick it to itself, and then put my fingers through it. And then I grab one of the sticks. You'll see that there's some resin on there and I'll just start stamping and pulling the resin up with the tape. So now this is totally clear of resin. I mean, it's discolored from so much use, but it's ready to be used again. I'm gonna do the same thing for all my mixing sticks and peel the resin off. All right, so now all of my tools are clean, my little silicone cup, the hard like plastic mixing cups, and my mixing sticks. So everything's clean, everything's good, besides my mat. So here's my mat. You see it here, I showed you at the beginning as well. It's got a lot going on. It's got a bunch of little pieces of resin. So I think what I'm gonna do is use some tape and get the larger bits of resin off of my mat first. So this is kind of a close-up shot of my mat. It's just, you know, it's got resin drips. It's got a bunch of like pigments and stuff. I mean, back here, I, uh, I, I, something happened. It was unfortunate. So I've got a bunch of like just glitter specks and it's just completely covered and it's a complete mess. And, you know, it's like the backdrop of all of my art videos is this and it's just like a mess. I know like, you know, I'm an artist and like not everything is perfect, but still, we're just using the tape, peeling things up. All right, so for the most part, my mat is resin free. There are some little drippy droppies all around but you know i think that i got most of it so now we're gonna do the fun part i've got some mod podge water-based glue this should be fine i did do a little test patch before i started filming this to make sure that it wasn't gonna like i don't know ruin the mat or something so i think this is gonna work i'm gonna paint a layer of mod podge all over this mat and then once it's dry we'll be able to peel it up and hopefully it'll just be like this super satisfying like perfectly clean mat. So I'm gonna paint this on. I'm just gonna pour a bit of this glue onto my mat and uh, paint this around. This is so weirdly satisfying. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna look so dumb. My mat, completely covered in glue. Completely covered in glue. So with a layer this thick and knowing how slow my test patch dried, I think, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave this overnight. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work, but it would be pretty hilarious if it didn't. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers that it does, and it's gonna be, hopefully, a super satisfying peel. So we're actually going to jump into the future to tomorrow and see what this looks like. So hopefully here are the super satisfying peelies.
was it satisfying? Please say it was. Please say it was because if this doesn't work. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps you guys in some way in like cleaning your cups or your tools or your mat. Hopefully this works. Yeah, this does use a lot of glue, but I feel like, you know, I'm not gonna do this that often anyway. Maybe just like once in a great while, I'll clean the entire mat. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death and I will see you in the next video <laughs> goodbye we are gonna clean this one as well and I'll show you how, I'll show you well, that's this well, I'm melting can you tell all right so for <laughs> please ignore how sweaty I am okay so we're actually going to what so we're actually gonna... <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video, this video.